So before we get started, John, I want to make sure that there's a couple things I want you to know before we start. If there was any kind of drug use that night, um, which obviously by now we know there was some, mm -hmm. um, I don't care if people were snorting lines of coke off a table that night. I need to know because I need to know as far as TAM and what happened and how intoxicated people were, that kind of stuff. Um, but no one's going to be prosecuted for that. Somebody gave her a pill, somebody gave her weed, whatever. I'm not charging anybody with distribution of anything. I, in the grand scheme of things, that's my new. Our job is to figure out what happened to Tam that night. Right. And I don't want people lying about drug use because when you lie about that and I know that something happened and then you lie to me about it, then what else are you lying about? Right. So I just want to make sure that that's real clear and that you know and your attorneys know we're not looking to prosecute anybody for doing any of that stuff, but we just need to know what happened with Tam that night. Um, so, and then also... When it comes to asking questions, I know this was a year and a half ago. Your memory is not what it was. And I mean, I know it's probably still semi-fresh because it's been going on for you for the last year and a half. But if you don't remember, tell me you don't remember. I don't take that as lying. I don't. And if you remember stuff later, reach out to Darren. Um, he can call me. We'll document it. Not a big deal because I know when you start, I'm going to ask you some of these questions and later you may go home and start thinking about it and be like, oh, crap, I do remember that. No big deal. Um... So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. In the, oh, if, and I think he, Darren said he'd cover some of this. I know you guys have been talking about this together for, you know, during this time. Try to stick to what you know firsthand, not what other people have told you. Um, there may be stuff if you say something I may ask you because I may know that from other interviews that mm -hmm. you may not have known that, or even from reading your interview from Forsyth County, and now you do because somebody else has told you, I'll ask you. Okay. We'll, we'll clear it up if it's something that I know that well, I don't think she knew that I'll ask um, but just try to kind of best you can what you remember from that night okay okay um, let's start with how well did you how long had you known Tamala I met her in August September our boys put this was the first year our kids played football together of 2018 so the year so yes just a ma couple months mm -hmm. before okay um, had you, how much time had you spent with her? Like, was it just at like football games and stuff? Or we, had you spent time outside of that with her? Um, every Saturday for football games during the season. And then, um, the only other time I'd spent with her was the weekend before she had come to my house to carve pumpkins with, um, her youngest children. Or three of the youngest. She brought her three youngest. Did well, she didn't bring the baby. She she brought the middle three. Okay. Was Lee there too? Or was no. He, the kids? Okay. he stayed home. Okay. Um, just kind of, so prior to that, those Saturdays during football, so it's just during the football game, it wasn't like you guys were hanging out, spending time together. No, okay. I was just getting to know her. How did she get invited to your party um, on the Halloween party? How did that kind of come up? Oh, we were all at football and just happened to be talking about it. And my son asked Ken Payton, who was her son, who is her son at the same age as my youngest son, could Payton come? So I told her, hey, we're going to carve pumpkins with the kids if you and your boys want to come over also. Okay. Just kind of tell me about that night. Carving pumpkins? Yeah. Um, who all was there, if you remember? I have no idea. Okay. I have four kids that have a bunch of friends, and it's kind of whoever wants to come. Uh, I know it was Tam and her boys. Stacy and her two children. My four, Bridget came because she, she cleaned out the guts for me. <laughs> um, Diane Coulevaris, I think she goes by Jacoya now, and her son Louie because Louie is friends with my son Reese and Tam's son Gavin. Um, 
think my daughter had some of her friends. I don't know on it. That's fine. Like I said, if you don't know, like uh-huh. I said, I know we're talking a long time ago. It's not. Um, were people drinking at the at the Halloween party? Yes. Not heavily, but drinking. My aunt was there also. Um, Madeline. Yes, because she was staying in the basement. Jose was there. I remember that because that was the first time Tam was at my house. And they were downstairs underneath the deck. And they were smoking pot. And I went and said, hey. Who all was smoking pot? Tam, Diane, and my aunt. Have you met my aunt yet? She's a burnout hippie. I talked to her uh, over video chat since she's in Louisiana. (laughs) Yeah. And she's not actually a biological aunt. She's your mom's best friend. Yes. Because I had expressed about the smoking pot with Jose there. That, that's not good. And they were downstairs, like on the patio, not they up were, on the balcony. Yes, they were underneath the deck. It was a different sitting area. And all the kids were inside. So you went out and told them they couldn't? Yeah. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> Anything happened that night? Anybody getting any kind of arguments that you recall? I mean, anything out of the ordinary? Okay. Nope. So, Diane, she already knew Tam? Yes. Okay. And what about your aunt? Has she, she had met, has she met? No, Tam that was that? the first time. Diane knew her and found out after the fact. Diane and I had been friends because Reese played baseball with her son but figured out that they knew each other because their sons went to the same elementary school together. My son didn't go to the, just with districts. Their kids went to Coal Mountain. Our kids went to Silver City. Okay. But all fed into North. So that's how they all met. We all met once they got to North Middle. Okay. I was going to say, because I've seen Diane's name. She was fairly good friends with Tam. Correct. Apparently. What you know. Okay. Um, and ha- and you know Diane from your, the kids playing ball together. Yeah. Okay. I've known Diane almost as long as I've known Stacy and them. Okay. So, so you've known her for a while. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go to the night of your birthday party. Um, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong. Stacy sent out evites for that. Yeah, I knew about that there was going to be a party at my house because they made sure my kids, it was a weekend that they were with their father and they had asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday and I want to watch LSU football. So they geared it around me to my house. I don't know who all was invited. I don't know how far in advance the Evite was. Like, I don't know the planning of it. I just know... I was going to get home and there were going to be people in my house. And it was so nobody would drink and drive. Okay, so Stacy pretty much, was it just Stacy that planned... I think it was Stacy and Nicole, but I'm not sure. Just because I think they were trying to get friends from, like, each friend circle, per se. So you didn't have anything to do with the planning they did? Mm -hmm. All of it? Just that it was the only thing you knew was it was It's just my house. Lucky me. Did you ask that people stay if they were drinking, or was that kind of Stacy and Nicole's plan? Well, they said, let's just make it a all-moms slumber party so then nobody drinks and drives. And we didn't want to have to really do makeup and dress up. I 
understand that. <laughs> so were you home that Saturday, like during the day? No, I got home. When I got home, Nicole and Stacy were already there setting up. I don't know where I was, honestly. I That's mean, fine. That, the I could have been I was with my mom. Is if you were there when people started, if they were people were already there when you got there, or Nicole and Stacy were already there. Okay. How'd they get in? Does one of them have a key to did garage one code? To your house? Okay. Half the world had that garage code at that point. Was um, your aunt still living with you at the time? Or yes. staying with you? Okay. Yes. So was she there when you got there? Do I don't know. Okay. How long did she stay? Did she live with you? Do you remember? Off and on for a couple years. Okay. She likes to come to visit. And then just doesn't leave. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'll go home for a while and then she comes back to. Do you recall how long she was there that trip? Like I said, if you don't remember, it's okay. I'm thinking from summertime. My divorce was final. I was in here that July of 18. She was here either July or August because she came to help with my kids. And then she left shortly after that. It put a vex on her spirit. <laughs> and, so, and she left shortly after your After Tam's passing, okay. yes. She left right before Thanksgiving. Okay. okay. I think the week before, right when the kids got out. All right, and you said you weren't sure she was there when you got home that Saturday. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I didn't always know if she when she was there because the basement. She would come in. Mm -hmm. it, or she would be sitting outside and go in and out through that door. So I didn't always know. Okay. All right, so after you arrived home, so it was just Nicole and Stacy. Um, do you remember who kind of got there next? I don't because I went upstairs to change and get ready. Okay. And then I came down and some of them were there. Do you remember who was there when you came back down? No, I remember okay. who was not. Okay. Who just because I know how they came in. I know Paula was not because her daughter, what sports season, I don't know, had some kind of tournament. So she was getting there late. And then I knew Tam was getting there late because she texted us. Okay. So the two of them were not there when you came downstairs. Yes, ma'am. Let me kind of, we'll get back to the night, but let me kind of go how, how well, over how well you know some of these people. Okay. So, um, Stacy, how long have you known her? Mm -hmm. Moved here in 13. Since fall of 13. And you know her through school sports, is that school how you know her? School and sports. Okay. From what I get, most of you guys know each other through that. Having kids takes over your life, doesn't it? Every aspect. Um, how about Nicole? Spring of 13. Her husband coached my son's baseball team, all-star baseball team. The fun part for me is trying to remember who all was there. Bridget. <laughs> Spring of 17. Her, her best friend was my kid's teacher, and we met through that way, and then she ended up coming to work for me. I believe you met her best friend, Kate Anderson. She may have pulled up while I was uh -huh. there. The black doctor. suburban, yes. yeah. Yep. Yeah, she had some questions for me. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I never take offense to any of that because I get it. Um, 
Let's see, Paula. I think 14, spring of 14 baseball, 2014. And that's how you met her was through sports. My son, one of my boys played with one of her stepsons. Okay. Um, Jen. Fall of 13. She coached my daughter's cheer team. Okay, Marcy. I think maybe the month before. So fall of 13? No. Oh, the month before the part. Okay. Say fall of 18. So October. I could be wrong. I, I think it was that fall okay. for her birthday. Her husband, um, like I had met her casually mm -hmm. four years ago. Her husband was my daughter's travel uh, all-star cheer coach. Okay. But to actually socialize with her, first time was a month prior to that. Okay. And how was that? How her birthday. About that? I got okay. invited to her birthday, and it was four of us at Marlowe's. You went with Stacy, correct, from my understanding? Kind of. Is that how you got? And not necessarily rode with her, but. No, Stacy wasn't there. I thought she just told me. For Marcy's birthday? It was Nicole. Stacy, you're right. It was Nicole. Nicole. Okay. It was Nicole and Jen and I. And our friend Lexi, who I think Lexi was invited. I, I'm sorry, I know Lexi was invited. But um, she was in Ohio doing something for her doctorate with okay. Grady. Um, Sarah. Cheer, 2014. <laughs> 13 or 14, what is this, 20? 13. This is the girls' eighth cheer season. everybody. <laughs> Do you need Jose? Do you need Tom? Yeah, I'll get there. I was just making sure what the, I got all the girls that were there. Because I'm assuming you know Tom from Stacy. Mm -hmm. um, how about Tom? How I mean, Jose, how long had you known? When did you meet him? Met him May of 17. He was your boyfriend at the time, correct? He was, but I met, I'm sorry, I actually met him February of 17. I didn't start dating until May. Okay. He and Nicole knew each other from the gym, and that was how we met. You said Nicole? Mm-hmm. Paul and Tam were the only ones not there when you came downstairs. Um, so Jose and Tom were already there too? I don't think Tom was. Okay. And I don't think Jose was yet either. Okay. Those two were originally supposed to go out and hang out together. And then I forget which. One of them was having stomach issues. So they said, do you mind if we just watch the game in the basement? We'll stay away from y'all. Because I have a theater room down there. So Tom was not there. He came later because I think he was getting their kids straight. I don't know. And Jose was getting things done. I get, I assume just like errands or whatever because it was a Saturday. And then he came later. But even then, just set his stuff upstairs and went down to the basement. Okay. So, did Jose live with you at the time? No. Okay. Never. But how often would you say he stayed there? Um... He never stayed there when my kids were there, and my kids were only gone every other weekend, Thursday to Sunday. So I'd say maybe four times a month. So like every other weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And even that wasn't like consistent, but if I had to guesstimate okay. about that. Um, all right, so was it everybody at the party drinking? Do you remember? Um, no. Nicole is not a drinker. She's too into fitness and healthy. And Sarah normally drinks. She didn't drink I don't, uh, maybe one drink that night because they had to leave early. I don't know what they had going on the next day, but those two literally just came because it was my birthday and then left early. Okay. But everybody, and then everybody else was drinking. Yes. Okay. Do you recall what you were drinking that night? I do. I was drinking Blueberry Bucks. It was the drink that we had decided we'd liked at Marlowe's. And uh, that was the first night we went and bought all the ingredients to make it ourselves. Okay, and that's blueberry vodka It's blueberry and vodka beer. and ginger beer. Was pretty much everybody drinking that? Everybody that? drank at least one because I made everybody taste it. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought it was so great. <laughs> right. But, um... Bridget didn't drink that. She drinks one of those malt things in a glass, a bottle. Okay. I don't know, Mike's Hard Lemonade or something like that. I don't know okay. exactly what she was drinking. Um, I don't know what Jen drank, but she got drunk fast. Uh... Like I said, if you don't remember, uh, like I said, uh, I'm just trying to think so many people notes or keeping track of other people. But I'm just remembering who brought because some brought like bottles for me, like as right. a gift. But they all brought their own stuff. Um, Marcy, I think it was some rosé. It was a wine bottle that the bottom of it it looks like a rose because she said one for her and one for me. I don't know what Jen was drinking. Sarah might have had a glass of wine if the whole thing. Stacy brought the blueberry vodka so we could make those. Paula drank that too, I believe. Did I cover everybody? I think so. <laughs> um, okay, and you said Jen got drunk fast. Did anybody else that night seem intoxicated to you? Okay, like, falling down drunk, stumbling, mm -hmm. no. Slurring a little. When we were playing Cards Against Humanity later, later in the night, there were some, like, is it that my eyes are over 40? Did I drink too much? Like, which is it reading these little cards? Um, no, and I'm not asking. I mean, we're not... I'm I just mean, trying like, to get I a know, feel for everybody. No, no one was like that. Okay. Everyone felt good. No one felt as good as Jen. <laughs> but, it, no, it was... Okay, so. Now, if you want to say, it, did people do drugs? Um, whenever Tam got there... I was going to say, hold on, we'll get to that. Oh, I'm, okay. Um, but as far as drinking, nobody no. was, like, falling down drunk, stumbling, slurring. Just Jen. Okay. And, to, and drinking. Tam brought the bottle of tequila. Okay, yeah. She brought the bottle that. of tequila for me for my birthday. I am not a tequila drinker. Um, I'll drink a margarita. I opened that bottle, smelled it, and was like, no, not a chance. Um, and I remember it being so strong that I was like, smell this, smell this, Jesus, nobody can drink that. Um... There was also fireball there because there was at one point that they said, let's do a birthday shot. I did fireball. Everybody did fireball but Tam. Okay. And, like, that was it. Um, so did anybody else drink that tequila that you know of? No, not that I know of. Okay. And you said you opened the bottle of tequila? I did open so it. You did touch it. Okay. I absolutely touched it. 
Because <clears throat> I remember it was an it was like imported. Like you could tell she brought it from Mexico or something. It had the the stickers. The that, seals on yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And then Tam, that's what Tam drank okay. the rest of the night. So I know you said Paul and Tam weren't there when you came downstairs. Do you recall about what time they came in or who came first? And then Tam got there before Paula. I don't know what time. That's fine. The game had started. It's an 8 o'clock game, so around there, I guess. All right. I think it was still we'll the first quarter. We'll just the game started yeah. at 8. And I don't know. I want to say Paula got there after nine. As if I have to ballpark it, I don't know. And from my understanding, like again, correct me if I'm wrong. Then Nicole and Sarah left shortly after Paula got there. <clears throat> they were waiting for Paula to sing Happy Birthday and do a cake, and then they left. So whenever that was like halftime. So if you're gonna do times like that, that's how I do it. I watch football. I get it. Okay, like that. We'll have it this year, not. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it. It'll be conference. It'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Did Tom and Jose ever come upstairs during the party? They came up to sing happy birthday. And I believe they went back down. I don't know for sure. They might have come up for the last quarter of the game. And then after that was when we started playing Cards Against Humanity. And they were playing, so they were up at some point. But they weren't there the majority of the night. And they were drinking beer in the basement. I don't know how much. I don't know if they got drunk. I just know that they were drinking beer. Because okay. they had their own cooler down there. Um, so we know Tam smoked cigarettes. Was anybody else smoking with her that night that you know? No one else smoked cigarettes that was there. There were no other smokers. And I don't even know how much Tam smoked. Like, I, I want to say I think she only smoked cigarettes when she was drinking because I had never seen her even leave from the game or anything to smoke. Did you notice that she was in and out a lot that night, or um, did you ever go out on the balcony while she was out there that night? Uh, at one point, I don't. I, I was out there. I don't remember who else was out there with us because I had a gas fire pit on the balcony, and they were asking me how to turn it on, and we were trying to turn it on, and then we realized or we thought we realized that the gas tank was empty. So then we took it out and um, we just moved it and tried to put another one. Okay. But I gave up. I walked in because they were turning on gas and lighting the lighter and they had been drinking and I didn't right. trust it. So yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna go in while you're you blow my house up. up. I'm, I'm gonna stay in here. Right, so I don't believe they ever got it hooked up or to work. And you don't remember who all was out there at the time? No. Okay. I mean, I know it was more than just Tam and I, but I don't know okay. who. Um, were you out on the balcony at other times during the night? I mean, just like walking in and out? Or? No. Um, I did open the door when um, they were smoking. They were smoking a joint or whatever it was. Around. And... Um, because I, I remember telling to him, I told you last weekend, you know, you can't do this if Jose's here. He's in law enforcement. Who and else was out there with her, do you remember? Stacy and my aunt. And you told her I 
told you last weekend you can't do that. Yeah, because she laughs. She's like, I know, girl. I'm like, ugh. Like, she was just harmless. She's like, mm. Did she know that Jose was there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because she had made a joke, like, she forgot because she couldn't see him. She hadn't seen him. She just knew that they were down there at that point. Okay. So you knew she was smoking marijuana that night. She was drinking tequila. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so kind of walk me through. So Sarah and Nicole left after you guys sang. So kind of walk me through the end of the night, like when people were going to bed. Did you remember? What do you remember? We finished watching the game. We played cards against humanity. Jen was so drunk, we made Marcy put her to bed. I actually have a video on my phone of Jen having a meltdown in my office at some, about her DUI that she had gotten, and Marcy was in there. And I don't, the video's on my phone, but I don't know if I'm the one that took it, and I actually filmed it saying, you know, it's ridiculous. And then, um, Marcy and her, they were sleeping in my son's room that was on the main floor. So Marcy's like, I'm going to put her to bed. And Marcy went in there and turned on the TV. I don't know, I guess 12, close to midnight, somewhere around there. And we left Jen in there. <laughs> because she was just, it was too junk. It was not, like, not fun anymore. It was just like, you are going to be very yes, time, embarrassed time, time tomorrow. Time yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Bridget was cleaning up. A good friend to have a party, her always. Yeah. She'll clean so she doesn't have to interact with people. Uh, I'm thinking like 1.30, around there. 1, 1 1.30, people started going to bed. Because um, we were saying who was staying where. Tom and Stacy were staying upstairs in my daughter's room. Then the next room over, Reese's room, was where Paul was staying. And Tim was supposed to stay in my other son's room upstairs. And Bridget had said, you know, she was going to be more comfortable to go home, so she called Gary. And my aunt had already gone to bed because she was stoned and I needed to go to sleep. And said we were too much for her. Now, when you say your aunt was stoned, was that just from smoking marijuana with... Yes, just okay. smoking with tan. Does she do anything else besides nope. marijuana? Okay. Do you remember about what time Madeline went to bed or your aunt went to bed? No idea. She kind of does those Irish goodbyes where she just disappears and then you're like, <laughs> oh, you went to bed. So around 1, 1.30, did everybody kind of go to bed at the same time then? Kind of, sort of. I mean, like, getting our stuff, like, when we were figuring out who's going, um, it's, well, before, when we first started, Tam had said she, want, she was going to go ahead and go home. And I was like, What? And she had said she was okay to drive. She felt okay. And I remember us saying something to the effect of, you might feel like you are, but you're not. Like, you, you wouldn't pass a sobriety test. None of us would. And Tom and Stacy, they are closer, but they were like, no, you, no, you can't drive. And they convinced her or talked to her, you know, explained her not okay, and she agreed. And at one point, she, you know, something about where she was going to sleep. And we had said Matthew's room. And she, 
asked where Tom and where Stacy was going to sleep, not Tom, and she said upstairs with Tom and in the room next to them. So, yeah, we all went to bed about the same time. I went up, Stacy went up, Stacy and Tom went up, Paula was up, Jose and I were up there because we were actually in the room talking to Paula about some other crazy stuff. And uh, Jose said, I have to get my charger. When we all went upstairs, Bridget was cleaning. She had heated up, um, my aunt had made gumbo and stuff. Mm -hmm. She was heating up gumbo. So when I went upstairs, Bridget was cleaning the kitchen. Tam was sitting on the other end of the island eating a bowl of gumbo. And she just, Bridget said, Gary's on his way. And Tam said, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to have a cigarette and then I'll be up. We were upstairs. Jose said, oh, my charger's in the basement or something. And he said he went down. I saw him go down, and then he came right back up. There was, like, not a delay or a lag of him coming to bed. And we finished talking to Paula. And we were talking about stuff, Jen, her behavior. And then went to bed. And that's it. Okay, so as far as you're concerned, Jose... Like the time it took him, he went straight down the basement, got the charger, and came back up. Yeah, he it was pretty quick to go down two flights of stairs and come back. Okay. Um, did he get up at all during the night? No. How about you? Did you get up at all? No. Nope. Like, admittedly, I was drinking. I wasn't. It wasn't like I passed out. I went to bed. Right. Do you know, did Jose say anything like when he came back up? Do you know if Bridget was still there when he came back up? She or? was. I think so. I think he's like, Bridget's still cleaning or something like that. Okay. Um, okay, now just kind of walk me through that next morning. <laughs> I was asleep. I heard a knock on the door and said, come in. And my aunt says, John, I need Jose. And I said, what's going on? And um, she just, you could hear the panic in her voice and she was upset. And she said, your friend, your friend from the island, something's wrong. And I said, what do you mean? Take your time. She said, she's in the backyard. And so Jose's like, all right, let me put on my shorts. And we all went running. And I was like, do I call 911? Because I hadn't seen her. I don't know how bad this is. And my aunt's like, she's face down. And Jose's like, call 911 now. And um, so we came down the stairs. And uh, my aunt said she looked through the windows in the basement because she, so that was basically, there. said it's an apartment. And so she would open the windows and, and she said she saw her. So we all came out the, the door on the deck. I never went downstairs to where she was laying. And I looked over the rail and I had already had 911 on the phone. wasn't moving. Who all went out on the deck when? Me and my aunt and Jen. Jose was the only one that went downstairs by her body. Okay. 
So Jen was awake at this time, too. She was. And she told me after the fact, because I was like, you're already up with your shoes on, that she had already called her husband to come get her. And then that's when I realized everybody... I knew Marcy was leaving early in the morning because um, she was seasonal worker at Coach. But the outlet's right there, so I knew she was getting up early. She had told us that she was probably going to leave around 4-something to be at work for 6. And um, that's when we realized Tom and Stacy had already left and Paula had already left. All right, so you didn't go down the stairs. You looked over the deck. Jose, Jose the only one that went down? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so you never touched her uh -uh. or anything like that? Uh-uh. Okay. Do you recall seeing it, Jose touch her? Yeah. Okay. What did he do? Do you remember? Um, I know he lifted her leg. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm saying I know, but I'm pretty sure. He lifted the one leg and he, he was like, she's already stiff. And then he went, I guess, it's the weirdest thing. She was face down, but like her arms were down like, she just face planted is the best way I can describe it. So her arms were like by her side. Yeah, they were by her side palms up and uh he said say palms up like to her back like yeah okay. and he said um i i heard it because i i don't even remember how i got the phone went from me to him um and i heard him saying she's got a mark on her wrist I'm not saying suicide, but that's the placement of where he saw whatever. And then the police were there. Uh, I mean, the police got there, I believe while he was still on the phone. And um, they had uh, the one officer, I think that was Corey Miller had me, he stood next to me and had me call everybody that was there. And I had to say, you have to come back, right? You have to come back now, the police said. And all I could say was the police said, you need to come back now. I couldn't say because Tam died. I, I couldn't say anything. And I, I, they did let me say, it's been a bad accident. You have to come back. And then um, they kept my aunt Jose and Jen and I inside to do our statements and I guess as everybody was showing up they made them stay outside and they did their statements but like an ambulance didn't come. Right. Um, I just, I just saw her come out in a body bag. Okay. And I don't, I don't know. Well, let me ask you about kind of switch gears a little bit, your cameras. <laughs> um, which I know this has been a. I camera, they're rechargeable Arlo cameras. They're not ones with batteries. Okay. Um, I had gotten them when I was going through my divorce because my ex-husband would come in the house when I wasn't there. We were on good terms. Okay. Um, I have given my Arlo login and password because they send emails when they're um. When they're dying, or you need to set ten percent, or an outstanding recharge them. And my aunt, in her cleaning and organizing, had misplaced that charger. She didn't realize that it was for those cameras. She just saw that it wasn't an Apple, and we all have Apple, so we don't know where she had put it. 
And since things were fine with my ex and I, I really wasn't concerned. Do you remember so about were, what time it was that you were, like, around the time of, like, what month, whatever, that you were looking for the charger and couldn't find them? I want to say probably August, but I think the police, Forsyth County, got the emails and everything. Okay. I, I, I've turned all that over, but I, I want to say August, because then my divorce was final, so it was just like, we're in a good place, I'm okay. And all the other times on the door, that was all from the Xfinity um, security system. Okay, so those are two different systems. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That was more to monitor my kids not sneaking out. <laughs> door times. And all the Xfinity passwords and everything I've turned over also. Because when we tried to call, um, I'm sure you've seen the first day screenshot of the Times. Yes. It's the first page in that binder. Um, when we tried to call, like, later that night or the next day, Mike Christian and I had talked about getting a lengthy, a more in-depth picture of times everybody left, but I could only pull up um, 30 a day. Like after 30, I believe, was the number that then you have to go on the site or request it. And so that's why I had given them the password and the login information for that so they could see exactly to match up the times, I guess, that the other people said they left. Okay. And I don't know if you'll know the answer to this question, because there's been some discrepancy with the times, and I know the time changed. <laughs> I know I know the time changed that night, which makes it even more complicated. Yeah. Um, do you know with Xfinity, does that time, did they automatically update that I time? Or, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't, because okay. that's the screenshot from that night. Because that shows when she went out, and then that's Bridget leaving. And that's Bridget putting leftovers in the garage fridge. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Honestly, I can't answer that. That's fine. Um, who all had access to your Arlo stuff, like, who got notifications? Me. Okay. Do Did anybody else email? have access to that, like, have your passwords and stuff? Okay. No. You mean before all of this? Yes. Yeah, just me. What about the Xfinity door time stuff? You're the only one. Just okay. me. Um... Was Jose aware of, did he have access to any of that? Was he able to log on to any of that or check your cameras, anything like that? No. Did he know that your cameras weren't recording at the time, do you know? You had told him that they weren't. Did they? Weren't he had charged? helped me try to turn the house upside down to look for the dang charger. recently I mean. Sorry, I made myself a note on something I wanted to ask you, so I was just looking at it. It's fine. Um, let's go with so I'm sure by now 
you know, that Tamla had some Xanax in her system. Mm-hmm. Any idea where she got that from? None. Have you ever taken Xanax? Nope. You've never gotten any from Bridget and taken it? Mm, she gave me... Okay, so this is where I ask you to be really No, no, I know she me. gave me a Clonopin. Okay. But not Xanax. And that was after all of this. Was that more recent or was that right after? No, it wasn't right after. It was, um, I think timeline is when it, um, when the sheriff's department closed it and Michelle started making everything crazy because I actually ended up going into the hospital. My blood pressure was through the roof. So did Bridget ever give anything when you were going through your divorce? No. Because I wouldn't tell you she told me she did. Right, no, I'm, I'm thinking, no, like... I mean, I'm not going to say for sure. I, I want to say no, but my divorce went on for three years. Okay. So, she might, I don't. And sadly, is it if I say I trust my friend when she said, just take this, it'll calm you down? Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know what. Yeah, I mean. Well, my question is, has she ever given anything that, to you that you didn't take that may have been laying around your house somewhere? No. The only thing laying around my house is there is blood pressure medicine. There is migraine medication. And all of my son's epilepsy medications. Do you need a list of what those are? Um, so you didn't see anybody give Tamla any kind of pills or anything like that during the night? No. Do you think Bridget would have given her one of her Xanax? Honestly, no. She keeps them in that thing Mm -hmm. around her neck. I don't know if she has them in her purse. Ever. Mm-hmm. Like, I think they're always just there. I don't think she carries the bottle with her. She did give me something after the divorce, during the divorce. It was after he had punched through a wall and I was a mess. I don't know when. I know it was sometime during the three years. Do you, Sometime, what, do you recall what it was? Nope. I know that it was bluish green. But no, I don't know what it was. Like I said, I'm not trying to get no, no. Bridget in trouble. We're just trying to figure out where the Xanax came from. No, she no. had it in her system, so we're trying to figure under, out where it came I understand from. that, but I'm like, no. Just because I had never, uh, even through divorce, blood pressure, migraines, I've only ever been prescribed either clonopin or Valium. So I didn't know how that would even react in my system. Right. Okay. Um, Now, I've heard, and this is just something you're going to have to, if you did or did not, did you pay for Tamla's funeral? My mother did, yes. Also paid for plane tickets for her stepdaughter and her fiance and her baby to come from Dallas to here for the funeral. Your mom paid for that? Mm -hmm. And my mom paid for that because I was upset that this woman was a a stay-at-home mom with five children. They were renters. They didn't have life insurance. 
and it wasn't fair. And she said, well, we'll do what we can, and we'll do the funeral and let them use the GoFundMe money for those children. Do you recall who set up the GoFundMe page? Tina Rupp. Are you PP? Yes, ma'am. How do you guys know her? Or do you know her? Um, I know her now. I didn't know her before. She and Jennifer are good friends. And she lives in the same neighborhood as Diane. So it... I met her after all of this because things got convoluted because she and Jennifer were texting. And Jim yes, okay. and then somehow things were going from Michelle to Tina to Tina to Jen, and it just exploded. I met her after this. I didn't know her prior. Okay. But I know she has a daughter my son's age. Okay. One of my son's ages. Okay. Uh, you have anything that you can think uh, of? As far as at the party, did, did it, everybody know everybody, or was there? No. I mean, no, some of them, that was their first night meeting each other. It was like Tam's, Tam got there and only knew me and Stacy. Okay. Um, because our boys played football together. She didn't know everybody else. Okay. Um. I mean, she met my aunt the weekend before. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, Marcy... Marcy knew Nicole and Sarah and Stacy and I because of cheer. And Jen, Jen knew us because of cheer. Although they weren't close, but like different circles where we spent more time together. Yeah, because I remember saying different circles. I was just right. trying to kind Bridget of... didn't know anyone but me, okay. and she had met Stacy. So it wasn't Stacey. just Pam that didn't know. No, like Bridget didn't know any of them prior. She had met Stacy one other time before. Um, so Bridget and Tam were the new people okay. that really didn't have, but only had ties to like one or two of us, not everybody else. Okay. Um, and I'll jump around a little bit, so I apologize. But um, Jose, his what, what? What was his job? What, who did he work for? He was a pretrial. Probation officer. So it was Pre-trial officer. Certified law enforcement. I mean, did he carry a gun and everything? You know? No, I don't think he had a gun at work anymore. Because I know before he did felony probation. Mm -hmm. And he no longer did that. Then he became pre-trial. I mean, if you ask me, people reported to him and they had to pee in a cup. Mm -hmm. And he reported to the judge. Okay. I mean, that's as much as I would say he did. Okay. Um, as far as you... Sounds like you went out on the deck when the next morning mm -hmm. uh, to see Tam. Do you remember anything specific outside on the deck as far as... Her cigarette butts and lighter. Do you remember where that was? Honestly, no. Okay. Uh, I did see Jose bend over. He probably picked it up. And then the next time I saw him was on the fire pit. I can't say that it was there um, before that. I also know that Jose is pretty OCD and everything has its place and should be in its place. So if walking out, he would just stop. Do you remember where he bent over? Uh... Right in between my table and the fire pit. So it's like the pathway. Like you come out. So if the doors, all right. Here's the dining table outside, the fire pit. Here's the door. And you'd have to go through these two to get down to the stairs because my staircase went along the house. It didn't go out. So it was like we came here, and yeah, he bent over somewhere in this area because I hadn't made it to the banister, the railing to look down. Did you just... Do you mind just drawing it out for us? It doesn't have to be pretty. Yeah. We're not worried about it. <laughs> I don't have to be a Picasso. 
Okay, there's the door. That's the railing. Table. Fire pit. And then the stairs are over here along the house. So it's like he came out here and we stopped here. So like I hadn't made it yet to the rail. Mm -hmm. And then in pictures, I guess later, I saw the cigarettes and the lighter there. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I don't, I can't tell you. So you don't even know if, that, if he picked that up. Right. I saw him stop and bend over. I just saw him stop and bend over. I know he didn't have shoes on. Mm -hmm. So I can't say he stopped to tie a shoe or anything. But he did stop. I don't know right what. There. Could you just yeah. circle right there? Yeah. Where he? Okay. We initial that down there too. There's that you did not. Thank you. Um. Or uh, you remember her hands being by her side? Yes. Okay. And I know everybody. There's that's different what, things that says one's out yeah. or whatever. I am telling you, Jen saw it. I saw it. Jose saw it. My aunt saw it. I will never get that image out of my head, that that woman's hands, it was so just unnatural mm -hmm. that they were down by her side. And I'm like, even if she fell, why didn't she try to stop? Like, that's my first thought is, I, I guess I would put my hand, like, how do you land like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll never get that image out. I don't know who failed in documenting what, whether the coroner, the officers on the scene, I don't know if it's somebody moved her. I don't know, but that is what I saw. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and the bottle of tequila, was that originally for you? Yeah, she brought it to or me as my birthday gift. Yeah. Okay, but you didn't want it. I don't drink tequila, so she drank it. Okay. And, um, and she drank it on the rocks with a splash of water. Okay. No mixer. I was like, do you want Sprite? Do you want, no. Um, when you said she originally wanted to drive home and you said that she, she felt she was okay, but you said that she wouldn't pass. Right. We knew that we'd was, all had too much, like you might feel okay and be like, oh, I'm good to drive. Mm -hmm. But I guess my question is, was she, was she more exhibiting or was it just that you saw the amount of alcohol she had consumed? Kind of both. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, she was the fun one to begin with, but she was giddier, you know, more laughing and touchy-feely mm -hmm. um, at the end of the night versus when she first got there, like someone would be when they're drinking. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, when we were doing Cards Against Humanity, she wasn't really able to see the word. Like, I remember at one point, so on the back side of the cards, it says Cards Against Humanity. Mm -hmm. And then the words to the game on the one side, she had had enough to drink that she fanned it out where it all said Cards Against Humanity against her, mm -hmm. and she had never played before. And she goes, my cards all say the same thing. And we were like, no, turn them around. So that showed me that, no, you can't drive. You don't even know which way to hold the cards. Mm -hmm. So but like that's really having fun drunk, but not like falling down. Right. Mm -hmm. Not right. Enough that I knew she couldn't drive. It wasn't a good idea to drive. And selfishly, knowing that if you leave my house driving drunk, I'm responsible. Like I was sober enough to know that, like not sober, but had my faculties enough to know that if something happens to you, that's on me. Mm -hmm. You're leaving my home. Right. Never to think that I was going to wake up and she'd be gone in my backyard. Um, did you ever tell anybody that you had a video of her falling? No. Absolutely not. You didn't tell any of your neighbors that? No. I don't even talk to my neighbors. That's funny. Did you talk to any of your neighbors after this happened? Like, just kind of explain, like, look, I know there's a lot of... Just the happen. one, Elaine and Sean, like, if you were facing the house to the left. Um, because when the news crews came, she was so tired of it that she put her speaker out there and blasted Cardi B so they couldn't air it. And she said, are you and the kids okay? And I'm like, we are. 
and I know I have said, and I don't know directly to her, but said, I wish the cameras were recording. I wish I would have had video because then this could all be put to rest. But I've never said that we have video. It doesn't even exist to have. Did you know from the get-go that there was no video? Yes. Or was it like a, you forgot that? No, okay. knew from the get-go because when they came, they're like, what about the cameras? I'm like, they're not charged. Mm -hmm. And did Jose know that too? Yes. Because, like I said earlier, he had helped me try to find the charger. That was back in August when you were looking for so. Yeah, and just, I'd never gone to, I'd, I'd no longer felt threatened mm -hmm. with the situation with my ex, so it wasn't a priority for me to go buy new ones, a new charger. As far as the back door, um, I'm just trying to think. Is there any. Some doors are heavy, some doors stick, some doors are hard to shut. Was it one of those that you got a kick to shut good? Is it one that... No, it's a newer house. Okay. house is only five years old. It was fine. Okay. There were no issues. Um, were the cameras inside and outside or just outside your house? Just outside. There's one at the front door, one at the garage door. garage door. There were four total. Front door, garage door, and on the backyard there was one on the deck, and then one at the basement. Every, all the entry points. And then one at the basement door. So now I've got, these are going to be the tough questions, but i got to ask them. Did you see Tamala fall off the porch and didn't want to call 911 because you were worried about what would happen? No. Did you push Tamala off your back porch? No. Did you do anything to to knowingly cause her death that night? No. Okay. Anything else you got? I mean, did you ever see her? I mean, didn't sound like you are out on the deck too much. But it was I mean, cold. Yeah. I I don't know how off how many times she went out to have a cigarette. I honestly, I mean, I was you fan. Mm -hmm. I was watching the game. My team was getting their ass handed to them. Mm -hmm. um, no, I didn't pay attention. I didn't think it was. I didn't see the need to. Mm -hmm. I'm just in my house with my friends. Do you think anybody at the party that was there is capable of doing anything to Tam? I don't. Oh, let me ask, did you and Jose, did you break up because of all this or was it other things? Was it other this things was a big this? catalyst, yeah. So why We're was still friends. Just well, like just because, not, not because of this, more because of the, um, Stuff with Michelle, with, with I was getting death threats. My kids, people were threatening to kill my kids, and it was just, it's better that we're not together. The kind of over the backlash of all. Of yeah, it. Like, oh. and the reality is, is I'm 18 years older. I'm sure you've seen all this stuff. That was it a good diversion after my divorce? Oh well, yeah, I mean, yes. listen, well, I'm not here to judge anybody. Right, I don't care and I mean, he's a good person. Do I think this was a lot? Yeah, I do. Um, well, I understand. I mean, he, am I going to say we were going to be married stuff. and all of that? Probably not, no. Right. I mean, just being realistic. But this certain, the backlash of this made it come to an end probably sooner than it would have. Anything in your mind that says that he could have done this to Tamla? I mean, anything that... No. Okay. When, when did y'all break up? Um, we didn't see each other, um, uh, well, we saw each other for Thanksgiving. I moved March of last year, so, like, kind of cut all ties, probably, like, March, because he's never, I mean, he helped me, like, pick out, he was with me when I picked my new house, but 
not really in it like socially or right. anything. So I would say March, April of last, last year. year. Was, I know there's a lot going on with as far as him and his job and, <coughs> and what he might have done to look up some records. I am well aware that he looked up our case. Um, I think he just wanted to see, uh, you know, where it was. He never accessed Michelle Graves' stuff and mm -hmm. all the stuff she wants to put out there. That's a whole separate thing. But yes, he, he did look at it and mm -hmm. he had admitted that he looked at it because he wanted to see where it was progressing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, ethically it was wrong. He didn't alter anything. I get it looks horrible, you know, that throws a big wrench in anybody's investigation and throws up flags, but no, do I want to be crude and crass? And yes, you're recording this. We went to bed. We didn't pass out. Yes, we had relations, whatever. I would have had no idea what it's was a, going on. We've heard and seen everything and we get it. You're a couple. That's fine. So you guys had sexual relations. Yes. We went to bed. Um, and you didn't hear anything. And I know you don't know, like, the way my house is, where the bedrooms are. Mm -hmm. The bedroom that Tom and Stacy were in, my daughter's bedroom, and the bedroom that Paula was in is Reese's bedroom. Those bedrooms back to the backyard. My deck did have a roof, so there was a roof. It was a covered deck. And they're back off of that. Yes, and they're there. My bedroom was on the side of the house over the garage. My window. On the, on the like front of the house? Yes, okay. it didn't back to the backyard. And then the downstairs room where Jen and Marcy slept, that window is shared with the deck. It's on that side of the house also. So let me ask this, after you guys had sex, did either of you leave that bedroom and go get a glass of water? I mean, anything like nope. that? Nope, I have a refrigerator in my room. Okay. So after you guys went up for the night, nobody left until your Aunt Modi, I think you guys called mm -hmm. her, knocked on the door that yep. morning. And by that time, when we got downstairs, Jen was already downstairs like she was already downstairs walking around waiting for her husband right mm -hmm. but I mean with the back door not being open like it appeared to be closed it just not engaged I guess she had no reason to go out there but she was downstairs awake and dressed did go out the door first Jose I don't know you guys came down okay I don't know um so I want to say you, yes I know I was not first did you so you noticed that the door wasn't shut no all the way? Okay. no I, I noticed that it wasn't open but I don't know to what extent. I know that it didn't engage on my security system, but I wasn't the one that opened it, so I don't know if it was pushed open, if I'd have it, someone grabbed the doorknob and it still put, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Do you guys have any questions? I'll answer them if I can, obviously. There's going to be questions I can't answer, but if I can, I will. I don't think so. Do you have questions? No. 